All right, guys, welcome back. Today's a big day. Willie and I are out trapping. We're setting traps. So uh, right now I'm we're at here. We're here at a, a local pond, and we're gonna we're gonna set some muskrat traps. Um, if you guys previously watched, we'd made a couple videos on how to make colony traps. Unfortunately, this isn't. Will just checked it out. He said it's not gonna be a great spot for the colony trap. So we are gonna set one just to show you how to set it. But we got a bunch of traps we're gonna set this afternoon and uh, we're gonna show you how to do it. So this spot is gonna be just muskrats. Um, I'm going here, I'm gonna put my trap tags on and then we're gonna head in. We got a, we're basically right next to the pond here, but we're gonna be uh, cautious on what we show surrounding the neighborhood just out of respect for everybody. So other than that, we're gonna show you what to look for walking into this spot and how to set it with the, uh, 110 cona bears and the colony trap. All right, so we just walked over here. We actually found some more sign right behind me, right here. As you can tell, this is what a muskrat house looks like. It's all built up with cattails and uh, all different types of mud and debris found in the swamp here. So out front, we're behind it right now where the water's real shallow. Out front of it is where you're gonna find a couple channels down in the water that go into the house. So we're gonna, sometimes there'll be one, I mean, normally there's at least one, sometimes there's two or three entrances depending on the house, but it appears that right here, it looks like there's just one probably out in the front. So we're gonna walk around front. We're gonna be careful. This is a big step when walking into this area. You don't wanna muddy up the, uh, the lame way on going in to set your traps so you can see what you're doing. So we're gonna grab our traps we're gonna sneak our way out front and we're gonna see if we can show you guys the run. You ready, Willie? All right, so what I got right here is a Victor 110 Conibear. I got the trigger in the center. I always normally set in the middle notch. And then what I've got is a just a 110 stand here. This is a short one. You run this down through here, like so. It slides in. And then I run the chain through the bottom here and that locks it in. So as you guys can tell on the GoPro, there's a run right there. So what I'm gonna do is... All right guys, so as you can see, here's the house. I'm out front right now. There's one hole here. It's kind of gravelly, I muddied it up a little bit, but right here, there's a hole going in. I'm gonna put this camera underwater and see if you guys can see that hole going in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it in right here, right in front of that house. Actually, I'm gonna spin the trap so the trigger is gonna provide me some, or that spring is gonna provide me some cover. And I'm gonna slide it down right till it's touching the bottom, right there. Now that's covering the hole. Now All right guys, if you can see right in there, there's a big hole going right in. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna stick a 110 in front of it. Will just found that. So, we're just gonna do the same thing. All right, you just saw that. That's another one we just got done. We're gonna move down and we're gonna show you what a run looks like where you can see where this colony trap's gonna work. It's a big, muddy run, very distinct look. And we'll show you exactly what that is when we get over there. All right, so with the spot we told you where that colony trap was gonna go, it's actually not deep enough for it, so. Um, We'll see if there's a spot down here, but otherwise we're just gonna stick a 110 in this hole or in this channel right here. Get this set up. There's a perfect spot Will found right in between, right in between some cattails. So right here is our perfect spot. All right, so we did find a spot. This is a house here. We think we found the channel going in right here. It looks like it's gonna be about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in there. See if we can get on our way. Oh, that's it, Will. Oh, that's it, big time. All right, we're here to set a couple, uh, we got some colony traps set up and we got some dog proofs. We got 
white one and a tan one. We're going to try it out, see which one works for some coons here. Uh, we're in a flooded swamp. This is a laneway to a one of our cornfields. Beavers got it dammed up underneath the bridge here. But there's little streams that go everywhere. We're pretty much just going to put colony traps in these streams all around here. And then we'll find a trail and we'll try to get some dog proofs out and see what we can find. All right, so here we got the uh, bridge that goes to the field and the beavers got it dammed underneath. But uh, the water coming out here, we got these nice bricks that we can work with and we're gonna make a bottom edge set. So mink, muskrat, as they swim down through this, they're gonna usually ride the side of it like this. So we'll take our diver. We might have to find a spot where it's a little deeper. We're gonna get our diver set right along this bottom edge. And when anything swims down along here, be right in our trap. And we're gonna get some sticks and a rock maybe and kind of plug it up here to kind of funnel them down in. Then I put a little cover on top just to make them dive down in and get in that trap for us. Finish set. Finish set, bottom edge. All right, so we're just walking down along the stream and we're looking for a spot to put some more divers. And we found plenty of coon crap with a nice trail running right along here. So we'll probably set both of our dog proofs, maybe like one here and one further down or further up or something, right along the stream where they're walking. But definitely a good sign. All right, so we're in this uh, swamp. I'm actually probably gonna switch out the traps to one of the smaller ones, but we just got a nice channel through here. Good place for a rat to swim through, so we're gonna throw in a colony trap. But I'm gonna switch it out and get the smaller one. All right, so I, yeah, we actually got a house we just saw right up here in this little swamp. But we're gonna stick this diver right in here. Since it's a little wider than our channel here, we're probably gonna take a few sticks and just block it down just a little bit. Ooh, that is a hard bottom. All right, so we're uh, gonna set some of the dog proofs right here if I can find my staples. But uh, right here on this trail that runs down, you got coon shit and there's lots of good signs. So definitely a spot that uh, we're gonna wanna put a, two of these. We're probably gonna just stake one to one side and one to the other side, this big wash down log and set them right out here. See what color does better. Yep. All right, so I just wrapped the chain and the cable around the log. Just gonna throw a fence staple in it that way. Just tack it in like halfway, so we can pull it out. Or that. Safety's sake, don't go nowhere. And then I'm gonna bait it. A little cat food. And marshmallow. I like to put a little bit around the outside. Get some smell. Then we take a marshmallow. Plug up the hole. Tyler went ahead and got us a little chocolate syrup. And try that out. I've used maple syrup before. All kinds of stuff. It's like making a s'mores. 
I'm gonna put a little in there. Make it nice and sweet. Pour some all over the top. A little bit on top. That's it. Good to go. All right, so we just came down to another wash down in this stream. It's kind of an old beaver build up down and dam and whatnot, but we just found two frogs that were all eaten up. Three frogs, actually, a little pile of them. I don't know if it was a mink or something, but it's definitely a good sign. Looks like they were stashed here or something like that. So plenty of critters around, that's for sure. But right after this dam, there's this nice deep channel. So this is a perfect spot for a diver. It's like the same width of, as our diver. So I'm going to check our doors. I always like to put the double doors facing down because a lot more time you get rats swimming upstream. So at least we'll get one in the back and another one in here before it plugs up. Ooh, perfect. Textbook spot right there. And that'll just help make them dive down right into that diver. All right, so we're on our way back. We just found this beautiful little trail that's just running this bank. Great place for a mink snare. Just right up in here. So next time we come, maybe we'll grab some snares and set some mink snares right on this bank. It's beautiful right there. Oh. This is what you get for not bringing a big hammer. What are you doing? Still hitting. Oh! Woo! <laughs> All right, so we came to this cornfield. We were trapping the rats right in the front there. And we set two more dog proofs, another white one and a tan one, right on the edge of this cornfield on these trails. So we got one here, and then we got one set over there. So we'll see if we can't pick up a, a coon or two. All right, so we uh, just set the rest of the traps. We got mostly muskrat traps out, a couple of coon dog proofs, and uh, we set up uh, two different spots. We got this swamp we set up the coon dog proofs and muskrat traps and then we got a pond that we put in some muskrat traps so uh yeah we're all done for today and then we're going to come back and check them tomorrow and see what we got all right guys welcome back so uh will and i are here checking the muskrat traps we set yesterday um we're going to probably pull these traps but i would say we're going to have a couple muskrats i think so we're going to go in there we're going to show you which sets with which sets uh produced and yeah hopefully we got three four muskrats we'll see let's go will all right guys, we're walking into the first set here. This one we have the muskrat diver. So, hard to, t hard to tell. Nothing, empty trap. All right, guys, so right here we had another channel. The one back there, actually, we didn't get a rat in it. But this one here, we have a snap trap right in this channel here. You can tell, no rat. So, not sure what happened, but uh, we got a couple more. We're going to keep going, and we'll check them out. All right, I think we're on our last trap here. Here's the house. We see we got a snap trap, so hopefully we got a rat in it. Oh, there he is. Not a huge one, not a huge one. That's okay. We'll take it, give him, give him a little wash here. Oh yeah, nice little guy, that's all right. Caught him way back, Will, huh? All right guys, so we just got one rat here. Not a huge one, but that's all right. Uh, we pulled the traps and uh, yeah, he's a nice one, so. We're going to check our next location, so moving on. Let's go, Will, you ready? All right, guys, so we're at a new spot here. Uh, I set these yesterday after Will and I left. You couldn't, I didn't film any of it, but as you can see, there's a bank here on this little tiny pond. There's a big run that comes in here. It goes right into the bank. Check this out. Nice big rat. Oh yeah. There he is. That is a nice one. All right, guys, so same thing. Had another trap here. I think I set four or five. It appears. Oh, 
Nope, Willie, we missed. missed Snap trap. We missed him here. Yeah. All right, guys, so uh, this is our last set. I think, uh, what was it, four, Willie? Four yeah. traps? Four traps, two of them were snapped, and one, uh, the last one was bumped out of the way, so maybe I didn't have it covering the hole perfectly, but we got one good rat, so we're gonna pull these and head on to our next spot. All right, so we're going in, we're checking these traps that we got here in the swamp. We're coming up to the cornfield and we've got a couple uh, coon traps up here, so we're gonna see what we got. Wow, two empty muskrat divers so far. And one coon trap there, that one looks empty. We got another coon trap over here, and it looks like we got one. They just followed our tracks. Oh, All right, so we got a coon in the trap right here. We're gonna take care of him and then check the rest of the traps and see what we got. All right, so we ended up catching that uh, coon in the tan uh, dog proof trap. All right, we're gonna head down and check a couple more muskrat traps, see what we got. Nothing here in these two dog proofs. Empty up here. <clears throat> Nothing. Oh, empty. Empty? Yeah, no rats. Nothing. Does it make you feel well? <laughs> no rats here. There's none to catch. All right, we're all done. Only ended up with one coon, and we're gonna pull out and head back to the barn and skin a few things out. All right, guys, so uh, we're back here at Will's house. We got everything hung up. Will just skinned a rat, is right there, as you can tell, and we just got one put up right there. Unfortunately, the whole time uh, we just did this huge walkthrough video, we uh, didn't have the mic on recording, so that's kind of a lame move, but anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, tomorrow when we when we finish uh, skinning all these out, we're gonna make a professional fur handling on muskrats, how to skin them, flush them, and put them up. So if you guys wanna see that, be sure to be on the lookout for that video. And uh, I think our plan is to do a bunch of things. We'll do a raccoon video, fox video, beaver video, mink, all that. So with that being said, we will catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you wanna follow Will and I, uh, on the rest of our line this year. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.